controversy is in the politics. There's no controversy in the science. There's no controversy. It's in some of the textbooks. Uh, not all the textbooks. So what's the problem? Well, the, um, the standard joke in academia is that there are three stages in the response to a new idea. Uh, first, people say, uh, this is wrong. And they say, there's nothing new in this. And then they say, we thought of this first. So uh, the carbohydrate restriction is uh, maybe unique in that all three are going on at once. Carbohydrate restriction is good for all of these conditions. And most of all, because it's uh, obviously the best treatment for diabetes, insofar as this is really simple. That, that is, insofar as these things are all connected to uh, one physiologic state, then we have uh, the best uh, method. The, uh, the point I'm making here is that nothing is better than a low-carbohydrate diet. Now, in fact, every study that's been done, uh, the low-carbohydrate diet almost always does better, and there are studies in which they come out equal, but uh, there are sporting events where the champion uh, wins if there's a draw, keeps his championship. Uh, it turned out uh, that the Atkins diet was better than the little fat diet. These people uh, represent what uh, uh, Michael Pollan calls uh, lipophobes. Uh, and, uh, I, I've been trying to think of a uh, collective name for a group of lipophobes. Uh, so my question today is, how many lipophobes does it take to open a textbook? <laughs> <laughs> we've been saying all along that if, and, and we've been showing the data, that if you overconsume uh, uh, carbohydrates, uh, you'll have the uh, increase in cardiovascular. This is the cutting edge of biology. This is really showing what happens with glucose and insulin. And it shows you, in fact, that there's insulin coming in and glucose coming in. What it doesn't mention is dietary carbohydrate might give you glucose. Carbohydrate restriction has attained the status of the name of God in Hebrew. It's never pronounced out loud. Actually, by tradition, it can be pronounced by a high priest in the temple. Unfortunately, the temple has been destroyed. These things are not superficially related. You know, we're used to the idea now because it's been out there. What insulin does is converts it to an agent called malonyl-CoA, which is uh, the precursor of the synthesis of fatty acids, saturated fatty acids. Well, this is, this is a period in the history of the world where you can, uh, uh, well, common sense is out the window. You know, you can uh, pay an executive of a failed company uh, $20 million, and if you can't prove that you shouldn't logically, well, then that's okay. But common sense tells you that if you have a disease of carbohydrate restriction, you shouldn't be adding carbohydrates in the diet. Nothing has gone against this. Okay? And in a, in a world where common sense reigns, the burden of proof would be on anybody who says otherwise. Some of these data were collected 20 years ago. Why didn't we wake up then? We need good science. Now, my suggestion is that what we really need is uh, we need something like a court of law. We need a panel of uh, people who uh, don't have a stake in this, but who understand science. We need a panel of physicists and meteorologists and archaeologists, and then we should make a case. It's out there, the Low Carbers Forum has 120,000 members. Uh, and I took a poll and got some of the ideas on what they're like and uh, uh, ideas that uh, they had. But it's, uh, and it was a kind of primitive study, but it was a lot of work. So anybody who wants to follow up on that can sign up. No, it, it's, uh, it's our problem. We, um, we're asking you to come out and uh, work on this because 
Otherwise, it can't be done. I mean, the, the American Diabetes Association uh, has a lot of people who uh, volunteer to do stuff, and uh, they're not doing a lot of good, but they are doing it. And we need to get some press. We need, we need to find a way to get the press to pay attention to, uh, to interview us uh, rather than interview the latest uh, uh, experts on protecting animals. And finally, uh, uh, we can get significant research done with private donations. Uh, this, your chances of getting funding from federal agencies are greatly diminished compared to almost any other field. Okay, that's it. Thank you.